Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Saeed Ahmed. I'm the CEO, founder of uh, Subortex, uh, a UK-based uh, technology manufacturer of eco and the world's first smart hand dryers. Our factory is based in Wilshire. Uh, our sales and marketing facilities are based in London. Um, and what I'd like to do, first of all, is set the global scene. Currently, sales of hand dryers globally is around 15 million units per year, with an average purchase price of around 400 pounds. However, the global washroom sector is absolutely vast. Um, just the UK and USA alone, uh, it's an addressable market of about 10.6 billion pounds. So, what we'd like to do is lead that sector by bringing innovation and disruption. And how we intend to do that is by introducing to you today the world's first free hand dryer. Um, how we enable that model is by um, manufacturing a very eco-friendly hand dryer that has sensors built into the nozzle, uh, the Internet of Things, uh, which reports back live data to a central server. And what we're then able to do is monitor three things. One, the exact energy consumption to share with building owners, tracked against paper towel savings. Uh, two, footfall in and out the washroom. And three, that 10 second captive audience we sell back to media partners. And we've got two that we've signed up already, uh, which I'll explain to you a little bit later. On your left hand side, you will see a testimonial from former Dyson CEO, Mr. Marty McCourt, uh, who felt that we had the technology that could scale and a, uh, a global opportunity. And Martin was responsible for turning Dyson hand dryer range from a three million pound turnover business to one billion pound into 20, 28 different countries. Uh, on your right hand side is a testimonial from our technology and scaling partners Intel, who in um, partnership with Savortex over the past three years have helped us develop our latest technology. Introducing to you the Ad Dryer, the world's first and most eco-friendly hand dryer backed by a Guinness World Record, which we set a couple of years ago. How it works is that there's four sensors built into the nozzle. As soon as a user puts their hand underneath, that communicates the live data back to a central server. Um, and from that point, we sell that 10 second space by showing the user a 10 second captive advert. Um, and it's highly targeted. Um, there's two sides to our business. There's a sustainability side. Uh, and what we offer there is the lowest energy use hand dryer. How does that compare with a Dyson unit? It uses one third of the energy but dries at the same time. It lasts about 10 times longer, highly sustainable. We've incorporated, incorporated a digital brushless motor. Um, it's also very smart through the sensors. So first time ever, if you walk into a washroom, you'll see on the walls that the cleaner signs off, I've been here every hour. Uh, so we've scrapped all of that. Basically, the dryer sends a text message to the cleaner to come and clean the washroom based on actual footfall. So the client sets all the thresholds. So that side of the business really appeals to the building managers, the facilities managers, um, and it's a, it's a huge opportunity. There's 70 million washrooms globally. And on the other side of our business is the digital out-of-home media industry, which is currently valued at around 523 billion globally, and that whole sector is going through a transformation. What is that transformation? Advertisers are now demanding real eyeballs rather than a lot of good guesswork. Um, so our platform offers a 100% human, captive, provable, gender segmented audience. Thus, we've signed up two contracts with uh, WPP as well as Flow City, the world's first programmatic advertiser. What are the problems for the building managers? Waste, energy consumption, uh, resource, what solution do we offer, 100% um, waste savings, 88% energy savings, and a free hand dryer that generates revenue share for the client after we've been paid back on the asset through the media revenue. So we're turning a building's cost center into a profit center. A very experienced team, 40 years combined experience. Uh, Martin McCord is now a uh, board advisor to Savortex. Uh, but other than that, we've got two FM business development directors with 20 years experience um, scaling smart products and energy efficient products through um, the global real estate sector. Coupled with that, Chris Dockerell heads up our technology 
uh, an IoT strategy, ex-BBC Lloyds Banking Group, myself and my chairman. Uh, on the right-hand side, our technology scaling partners are Intel. So if you walk into any Intel lab now in the UK or the Middle East, you'll see the ad dryer on the wall um, uh, being showcased and demonstrated and we're scaling with that technology partner. Why are we here today? Well, to date, we've generated about 1.5 million pounds in revenue over the last four to five years. We've invested about 1.2 million into the business. Um, uh, there's a grant fund in there from Innovate UK as well. Um, we're in revenue, uh, obviously. Uh, we're generating last quarter around 40 to 45,000 uh, pounds a month, and we've got 4,000 units deployed, and they are our first customers that we're upgrading to the, to the ad dryer. Um, we work with all the major channels, Carillion, Serco, CBRE, um, and our technologies now uh, throughout the UK, Rolls-Royce, we've just done Shell in Qatar, GlaxoSmithKline in the Netherlands. And I'm here today to ask you for two and a half million pounds uh, to self-fund the first 3,000 units to market, which will give us the ability to then accelerate 52,000 units to market, recouping the cost through the media revenue. Um, so by 2020, we're looking at a 66 million pound turnover by uh, dishing out free hand dryers in return for revenue. Um, we have a clear exit plan in five years um, and the partners around the business already. Uh, we're working with the partners. We've already had an advanced meeting with Intel and when we get to scale, then that's also a discussion to have. So if you'd like to ask me some questions, I'll be sitting there. Thank you. Thanks.